5.54 a.m. Um, and we're going out the door. I've got to get some money out as well. It's going to be a big car boot today, or it should be. It's a uh, one-off one, and uh, it's on a big field, so hopefully there'll be quite a few people there. Run. Just run. So I don't know how well you can see me, it's still a little bit dark, it's brightening up a bit, but it was really dark about half an hour ago. Um, but yeah, I've arrived at the car boot now, obviously I'm just in this little car park where I've parked up, um, and the, the field for the car boot is behind this building here, so I'm just going to go over, as, as what I did yesterday, I'm going to go over, have a little bit of a look, have a bit of a scout around first off, and then get into doing a little bit of footage, um, and yeah, it's going to be good, hopefully there should be... Uh, quite a few people here, a few uh, buyers I think are rolling up now, this is the, oh no, is that a seller? Maybe it's a buyer, I'm not sure, but yeah, anyway, uh, let's get on with the day, let's see what we can pick up. So, sorry about the shakiness of the phone, uh, I'm just walking around now, uh, don't know if you can see, but it's over there somewhere, it's like over there, there's only a few cars at the moment, but it'll soon start filling up, so yeah, just walking over for my first little visit. Did I give up? Was it too hard? Or was it too hard? Cause I just gave up Just gave up Did I sleep away the day? Cause I was tired Or did I get tired? Cause I slept too much Slept too much We go up and down We go up and down I know on this Roller coaster ride Roller coaster ride We fall back sometimes We fall back sometimes I know on this Roller coaster ride so I've got a couple of bags in the car, it's now 8 o'clock, uh, it's really not been good today. As you will have seen on the pans and the sort of panoramic views, it's obviously quite a big car boot, but I've actually spoke to a few of the other dealers as well as my own experience obviously, and the general consensus is that it just wasn't very good. There was a lot of stuff coming out, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't the right stuff or it was priced too high. I even heard one of the older dealers uh, in conversation with another dealer uh, basically talking about how the golden days of car boots have gone and all the rest of it um, so yeah I'm gonna head back in there now anyway just have another quick browse and uh, see if I can't get anything else hi guys so yes we are back for another car boot and this is in the bank holiday special series and I know it's taken me quite a while to get around to editing these videos uh, yeah I've not really got an excuse so I won't even bother saying one you can see we're just doing a bit of a pan of a car boot first off here um, it's actually pretty okay so I was gonna say big car boot but actually it's, it wasn't a really really big car boot but it you know there, there was a fair few cars there unfortunately it wasn't as big as it used to be it used to be massive uh, a few years ago this car boot used to be huge um, but unfortunately these days it's not as big you can see I'm just going down the aisles having a little bit of a browse of some of the stuff um, important thing to note actually at this car boot which is it, it's quite interesting really there was a few house clearance guys there and normally obviously house clearance guys want to get this stuff out and want to get it out pretty cheaply because they want to move on to the next job and we don't want things hanging around and all that sort of stuff there was a house clearance guy at this car boot that actually um, was charging like a really, well, charging pretty high prices for things and didn't really care about moving stuff on. So that just intrigued me a bit. I didn't know why that was. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe he's trying to hold out for really good prices for some reason. But you would imagine his business model would be more to get it out and just get whatever money he can back for it and then move on to the next job. But yeah it was it was odd that that was the case here's some uh, antiques obviously here uh it was an old guy running the stall and he just wanted far too much for a lot of the items i think these were some bezic horses which are really really lovely um but yeah just wanted too much for them and he also had some uh, i don't know whether it was royal dalton but he had some 
uh, snowman figures which were really really nice as well ceramic the snowman uh, figures and they were really good but again he just wanted too much for it I decided randomly to speed up the clips here I don't know why I did that actually when I was editing it uh, I'm still editing it but I've actually moved over to a different software to do the narration because I've been having some trouble with the narrations recently uh, oh that guy right there is one of my friends actually uh, called Paul so if Paul's watching hi there I didn't even realize I got you on camera but it turns out I had um, so yeah he's doing a bit of uh, hunting as well today uh, and I had a bit of a chat with him as well when I was kind of walking around and we did a little bit of picking together or walk around together um, but yeah anyway we're coming to the end of these clips now so I will leave it there for this narration um, and yeah I will see you in the whole video so uh, I'll see you later on so I have just got back from my final trip around the car boot. It's coming up to nine o'clock now, so I've been out three hours. I'm so glad I did that final look round because I actually got three more bags of stuff. So well worth that last little uh, look round, really. And it was like I was saying in the other vlog that um, one thing that a lot of resellers don't talk about when it comes to car boots or only occasionally talk about is endurance and actually sticking with it and not getting too down even if you have a slow start and all the rest of it so yeah it, you know the general consensus was it was pretty poor today by a lot of the dealers um i managed to redeem it a little bit i wouldn't say for myself it was incredibly poor but it wasn't brilliant brilliant either um there was a lot of cars there but just the, as i said the stuff just wasn't coming out really not the stuff that all the dealers are looking for and myself included um but yeah it was okay i'm gonna get back now i always have breakfast after i do the car boot because i just can't stomach it beforehand so i'm very much ready for something to eat now so i'm gonna get back i'm gonna sign off this vlog so thank you very much for watching hope you did enjoy it and then obviously what i'm going to do the same as last time is separate the vlog from the whole video and i'll record the whole video uh, later on when i get back uh been a very busy weekend this weekend i did a vlog on saturday as well actually um and i spent god knows how many hours editing that on saturday and just doing all different sorts of things this weekend i've tried to meet a couple of friends as well and it's just been so busy i've hardly got a moment to myself really so i'll be glad this week i'm gonna obviously i'm gonna have to get on and list some stuff and do some work but i'm gonna try and take it easy as well and have a little bit of me time if people if that's what people still say i'm not sure um but yeah so uh i'll sign off there guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the whole video so i'll see you very soon guys